There are a few pillars of the Facebook ecosystem. And one is newsfeed, right? It's you, you show up and you can just see all the stuff that is important that's happening recently with your friends. Another pillar has been timeline, right? Each person um, can share whatever they want with whomever they want on, on Facebook. And your timeline is your place where you can curate everything that you want to show up about you. And it's just everything about you in one place. And graph search is going to be another pillar that's like that. So there's really simple things that people want to do. They want to find all the photos they've liked. They want to find all the photos of two particular people. Um, all the photos of their family. They want to find all of their friends who live in a particular city because they're going to visit there. And those are really hard things to find right now. You have to go to a bunch of different pages. You have to piece all this stuff together. And now it's easy. You know, you just, you can say what you want and you get the results. And in web search, uh, it's very often the case that, you know, if you do a search for, you know, Apple and I do a search for Apple, we're basically going to get the same results. Um, maybe I'll get like slightly more technical results based on, you know, Apple computer and maybe you might care about the fruit a little bit more, but they're not that different from each other. Whereas um, on Facebook, when you do the same searches, we get completely different sets of results because of the depth of personalization that we do. The, the types of questions that we can solve are, are kind of the, the slightly nuanced and social questions that you wouldn't typically think to ask um, of a search engine that you wouldn't typically think that the internet could solve for. Um, there's a lot to be said for taste, like what movie should I go and see? Um, what bands might I like based on the friends that I have? Well, I had a toothache the other day and um, so I'm relatively new to the area so I didn't have a dentist and looking up dentists that my friends liked was really awesome because I knew I was going to go to someone who knew what they were doing, which she did. It's interesting because you know, most people today don't think about Facebook as a place to discover places where they could go eat or, or things that they could go do. Um, but with this product, I mean, that's just, it's so, it's so natural to be able to do that. In the past, Facebook has really been primarily about uh, mapping out and staying in touch with and communicating with the people you already know in the real world. But now, we're building a product that can also be used to finding people you maybe should know, people who have common interests, people you want to work with. You can find friends of friends who have common interests, friends of friends who are interested in ballroom dancing or in running or hiking. And in many ways, what this will do is, is make your community feel a bit smaller, make the world feel a bit smaller. Today, we're really just starting off with a few basic types of things that you can search for. Um, people, photos, places, um, pages for businesses, and that's just the start. We wanted to get this out as early as possible so we could get feedback from users, iterate, make the product better, and get it to a point where we can launch this to everyone. We just view this as a project that we're going to be working on for years and years to come, but um, as it gets more complete, it's just going to be this amazing resource for you know a lot of people around the world to use.